Rico here. Um, here's the deal. Easter last Sunday, I did a. Uh, stop it. I did a leg of lamb in the uh, barrel house cooker. Probably one of the best, best legs of lamb I've ever cooked. Uh, it was moist. It was awesome. Um, I really, really, really turned out good. However, when I got around to editing it yesterday, I realized there were some points where I forgot to turn the camera on. So there's no intro. It doesn't show me rolling it and tying it up and all that kind of stuff. I got some pictures, so I'll kind of include those in the in the beginning. But what it is, it's a, uh, I took a uh, bone-in leg of lamb. I had the butcher remove the, remove the bone. It butterflied out or rolled out. I, uh, I put some, I got lazy, so I used some so stovetop stuffing on it. Then I put some fresh mint and some fresh uh, rosemary in it. Rolled it real tight. Got some uh, butcher twine. Tied it all up. And then I baked it. Or not baked it, duh. Uh, got some uh, butcher's twine. Tied it all up nice and tight, and then it went into the, the cooker. And I think the video, I can't remember, I think the video picks up where I'm going on my first hour check of it. Odie, shush. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that, hit that damn like button. Thumbs up, comments, leave the comments, all that kind of stuff. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you enjoy the vidi, vidi, vidi. Davidi. Enjoy the video. And we'll talk to you guys on the next one, all right? Good night. Have a good work week. stuffing, herb seasoning stuffing. I got lazy. Some fresh uh, rosemary, some fresh mint, rolled, bacon wrapped, tied off nice and tight, hung to cook in the barrel house cooker. Cooked it right around average 250 degrees. I put some apple wood chips. Ooh, I put some apple wood chips in there to get a little apple flavor maybe I don't know okay guys the <clears throat> uh, leg of lamb's been in the barrel house cooker here about 40 minutes 45 minutes I kind of got doing something lost track of time um, I don't know what the temp should be we're gonna temp it we're gonna try to figure this out hey Daisy May hey Odie Doty whatever the hell your name is Odie. Okay, with us. Wiggles anybody want a little dog a little wiggles if anyone wants her, hey, does anybody need a little dog? Yeah, we go, Wiggles. This, uh, this, is, this, is, this is looking good. Okay, the, uh, Temp on that roast after 45 minutes is about 88, 89. I, I guess that's about right. We want it to be about 130-ish, I think. I'll have to do the Google thing and, and, and figure that out. But we'll check back another 30 minutes, see where our temp is. Um, I used, I used two temps. Now, I like this one because it's big. You can see the numbers. It's really great, but it doesn't even start till 120, so it wouldn't even register on this. So I went ahead and got a. Uh, my digital sticker and it, it worked I, I should set a probe up to it maybe when I come out the second time we'll stick the probe on it so we can just always see what the temp is but I'll check back here in uh, 30 minutes or so okay you guys I hope you're enjoying this uh, enjoying the Saturday Sunday 
whatever day it is you're watching this, Monday, Tuesday, I don't know. Heck, you can watch this on a Thursday. I don't care. Just watch it. Oh, while I'm here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Smash the like button. Do the thumbs up thing. I don't know. Do all that stuff you're supposed to be doing. It helps me, I guess. Uh, makes me feel good. Comment. I love the comments, man. Tell me I'm screwing around. Tell me I'm doing good. I don't care. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggles. Come here, wigs. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggles. Wiggles. Daisy's jealous. Alrighty, guys. I'll be back in about 30 minutes. Okay, guys. We're, uh, we've been on about two hours. I, I have a feeling it's done because I haven't been checking it like I should, of course, because I was in the house where it's cool doing some stuff. But it's been on two, two hours at around 250 degrees. Okay, so we're going to take this off. We're going to take a look at it. And then we're going to uh, let it rest and cut into it. Pulled it off at uh, 140 degrees. Should have went a little lower, but things happen. Wrapped it, put it in the ice chest to rest. So we've cooked this lamb, leg of lamb, <coughs> two hours. I'm excited about it. I, I haven't did a leg of lamb in about two years, not a year. I don't know. I don't know. I, I forget things. It's been a while since I've done a lamb. Excuse me. Um, we got to tie and do the string. Get it all entwined off. We'll slice it up. We'll see how it looks. I made some uh, some mashed potatoes and uh, some gr fresh green beans that we'll put next to it. I, I'm a little lazy. Didn't want to make gravy, so we're not going to have gravy tonight. I should have bought just a can of it, I guess. Now, there's, a, there's no right or wrong way to cut this string off. We just kind of start cutting. If you could figure out where you tied it, you might be able to Might be able to cut it off that way, maybe. I just, I just cut them. This is one of the better ham or ham. This is one of the better leg of lambs I've ever cut. Part, part my skills fly by the seat of my pants cook, and part the barrel house cooker. Um, it just maintained that heat at 250 consistently, and that's what you want when you're smoking or grilling out there. You want a consistent heat so you're not checking it all the time, not adjusting everything. Uh, once again, the BHC, Barrel House Cooker, it did its job. It, it gave me almost a perfect picture lamb. You like lamb? You need to try doing it like this. You've never tried it? Try it. This is a, uh, oh my God, it just melts in my mouth. It's good, it's good stuff. You guys, here's the tie-dye cowboy. Wishing you well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking.